Hello and welcome back to What Once Was. Today we are revealing uh, a portion of our social experiment with Listia. We've been working with Listia for a long time, which of course is a bartering site. It's a token economy system whereby you put things online to trade for points or credits, and then you use those credits to purchase other items, token economy. So there are problems with Listia. Listia is a very popular site, but there are issues with it. And so we conducted, like I said, a few small social experiments with this. Now, the first one that we have for you is the noob experiment. So what we did is over the course of two months, we bid on 100 noob auctions. And that is an auction of a person with an absolute zero feedback. This is their first attempt at listing something with Listia. The reason we did 100 is so that we could get an even demographic. That way we can start with 100% and break the percentages down. Now, we bid on 100 noob auctions over the course of two months, and this is what we have. 68% of the auctions, that is 68 out of 100, did not send the item and did not respond to attempts to contact them or email them after winning the auction. So we won, sent our information, waited a week or two, attempted to contact them, and never heard anything back. 68 out of 100, 68% failed to comply. Out of that 68%, 44 of these auctions, these individuals requested postage, which we complied with through PayPal. I would not ever recommend paying for postage any other way. And the reason for that is because PayPal will give you your money back. Out of those 44 people or 44% that requested for us to pay for postage, only four of those individuals actually sent the item. The other 40 individuals kept that postage and we had to file a claim through PayPal. Um, which, like I said, PayPal will give you your money back and Listia will give you your credits back when you file a complaint. It sucks that you have to file a complaint, but this is a big problem. And the problem is, number one, new people coming into Listia do not understand fully that this is a token economy system that they're dealing with. They're not going to get money. They're not going to get cash. They're getting credits that they can use to purchase other items. This is not being clearly defined, apparently, to the majority of people coming in if damn near 70% of them don't understand and are like, oh, screw this, and just abandon the auction after they list it. The other problem is that a large portion of them, they figure they can scam you, apparently, out of your postage. They don't seem to understand that PayPal is going to issue a refund. PayPal is going to take that money out of your PayPal account in order to return it. And if they can't get it from the PayPal account, if you have a zero balance for whatever reason, they will get it out of your bank or your credit card. One way or another, PayPal is gonna get that postage back from the person it was given to, and very likely you could end up with a suspended account as well. So it's a huge risk. And new people don't seem to understand this. It's not being clearly explained or clearly defined to them for whatever reason. And that is a failure on the part of Listia, not fully making it understood exactly what it is that a new person is getting themselves into. They just sign on to Listia, oh look, I got some credits, oh that's so cute. And then they just don't follow through because they realize they're not getting any money for it. That's a failure on Listia's part and it's one of the things that they need to explain better to new people. And of course, with a new person, when they post an auction, a lot of people, Listians, will comment and say, hey, you realize that this is not a payday. You know, this is for credits, right? And that's probably why so many people drop off, because then they find out, oh, wow, I'm not getting money for this. But the Listians themselves should not be the ones to have to do this. So that's our first experiment with this. Next time, we will reveal our other social experiment, and that is with 
the uh, customers claiming that they did not receive an item, which is a huge problem on Listia. So that will be our next experiment. We've already done it and we will reveal our findings in the next installment. So hope to see you again.